This is the beginner's guide to selecting elements in the Revit API. The first thing we're going to do is get the user interface, which is the UI of the application. Um, we also want to get the user interface of the document. And we also want to get the application itself. These are very standard things that you'll want to consistently get when you um, work with the Revit API and Revit itself. The next thing you want to do is also get the document from the um, current document. Um, to select an element, you want to select a reference of the user interface document selection, you want to pick the object um, and the object type that you would like to select as an element. So you, the next thing you want to do is grab the element from what is the uh, UI document um, of the document which you're using, the get element of the reference element ID that you selected, um, the using transaction um, you have to use in order to change or manipulate something in Revit. The correct way is to put using in the front in order to roll back or protect it from crashing. Um, you want to start this transaction whenever you're, you're you know, moving an element, drawing a detail line, doing anything that you've set yourself up to do, you want to start the transaction. This is very common to do, and you'll be doing this in Revit in order to update uh, parameters or, or, or whatever you want. Right now, we are just simply um, sh going to show the task dialog box in Revit. Very simple. Um, give it the title, and then inside the actual box, we want to give it the element name, um, and we want to commit. So, and then we just want to debug. So we start Revit. Obviously, 2017 wants us to, you know, certify our add-in. We just go ahead and skip that since we're learning at the beginning of this um, beginner's guide on how to simply select an element. Uh, we start a project to test our new add-in. This is something I've pre-built. Um, so we go in, select multiple our new elements button in the Revit API, uh, and there you go. We want to start by using the link, which is a query or a quick way to search through lists, the text in the system, um, and we notice that above us we have the previous UI application, UI document, um, application and document. The next thing we need to do is get a list of the references that we select. We want to go to the UI document similar Previously, the selection, um, and we want to get the element type or object type of the element. And we want to give our user a note that says to select elements. We want to get a list of the element IDs. And this is where the link, which is the language interface query for Microsoft, which is a methodology of quickly going through and querying our list helps. If you don't know about link, I would strongly suggest to um, learn about link. This is one of the reasons that C-sharp is so much more powerful than Dynamo, um, is 
because of its ability to quickly query elements. The next step is to use the transaction similar to the previous one. We want to send in our document um, and this is where we're going to be using our system.txt to build our string builder which will allow us to send multiple strings into one object. We want to start our transaction We want to double check if the objects that were selected have do not have a null and also if they're larger if the count or how many we've selected is larger than zero. Just to check to make sure the user selected something. We want to loop through the selection of the element IDs. In the element IDs we want to get the elements from our document get element and we'll send in each one of our element IDs that were selected we want to send our string into our string builder plus a slash n which is a new line so that each one of them are in a list and at the very last we want to show um, display dialog with the title smiley face plus our string builder sent to as a string and commit our transaction and debug step through this select the file, go through my little add-in and select a few elements in this project, select some slabs and get a list. And that's it. Thank you for watching.